We, uh, we're gonna finally, we're finally gonna do it. We're gonna build up a bike that, uh, I've been teasing, but no one has noticed in plenty videos in the past. This Tri-Fox cross-country frame into a complete bike, rideable for a ride that I want to do tomorrow. Ow! why I haven't built this bike up yet. One, I think less importantly is not knowing necessarily if I had all the parts. I think I do. I think I can get this together. The main reason is this is all internally cable and hose routed and I just did not want to deal with it. I was like, I am not interested in even beginning that task. It was like, it was, ugh. 10 minutes, like 10 minutes to get this hose up through here, up to there, shift cable, like 10, 10 minutes total. Everything from here in through the bottom bracket, you're not gonna be able to see it. Like that is all open. Everything in here is open. And then you just keep pushing it up to a nice, really accessible area. You can literally reach in here and move the cables every way you need to, to get them to just come out right here. Leave it to me to allow a task that I figure is gonna be bad to procrastinate for so long. Anyway, so if you feel like taking notes before I get started, the build will include a RockShox Judy, 100 millimeters of travel, Trifox integrated bar and stem, 800 millimeters wide, SRAM Guide T brakes, Shimano Dior 12 speed drivetrain, and uh, my old SRAM X5 crank set. Non boost crank set, but um, you know, I'm not gonna do a lot of pedaling backwards, should be fine. Frame we have here is the Trifox SDY20. It's, uh, in my opinion, their best looking hardtail cross country frame. This is what I wanted to build up. So speaking of building things up, let's do that. So because I do like, I like when bikes start to look like bikes as quickly as possible. I think starting with the fork and handlebars makes the most sense. Um, Tri-Fox includes a headset along with the seat post clamp and seat post with their bikes. So this headset race has a split in it, which means it's really easy to put on at the bottom to get into. There we go. It is hard to not get at least a little bit excited about a split crown race, because then it's on, it's done. So a little bit of grease where every bearing goes. Everything's fine. That's tight. It's really, really tight. There we go. After a little bit of fighting and kind of dealing with some spacer issues, I think we're right where we need to be. Sweet! Okay, it looks cool already. This is an exciting part of builds, but I think the next step to keep the stoke level high uh, is to throw wheels on. Because when you throw wheels on, you basically get the whole picture of what the bike looks like. And at that point, it's like, <clears throat> get the rest of it done. What? Okay, so mild, mild change of plans. I'm gonna steal, I'm gonna steal the wheels off of the Schwinn for now. Hopefully these 2.4s fit in here uh, without any drop. Uh, 
bottom bracket, crank, derailleur, stuff on the handlebars, brakes, and then it's basically done. Yeah. It's pretty light. Am I gonna weigh it? No. So, I'm kind of running into a problem here with the dropout and the derailleur hanger. The design of this is such that an outer portion here of the derailleur hanger has the threads and sandwiches to the inside of this derailleur hanger. I don't know how well you can see that, but, but the two pieces are kind of like, they're like moving on each other and I can either line up where the axle goes in and not be able to put the derailleur on or have the derailleur on and the axle won't go in. I honestly, I'm not sure if it's something I'm doing wrong or not, but I, I don't feel like when you're putting a wheel and a derailleur on a bike that it should take this much thought. I'm gonna try and drill this hole a little bigger, at least like open it up a bit, and then maybe, maybe the threads will be able to be able to get to them. I am a little nervous about that being chewed up the way it is. There we go. That hole that is opened up quite a bit more. The threads should just be like, they should be very accessible. The derailleur should go on, the axle should go in, and then we'll just pretend like none of this ever happened. So, hey, a little bit of machining is all it took, but we got there, all right. One thing I wanted to say about this derailleur hanger design is that I like that it sandwiches itself completely together using the derailleur itself and the axle for the through axle. But after that, um, I mean, I, it's gonna be fine now, but it was annoying. bike that has been featured, not necessarily featured, but shown in a few videos that have been driving a number of you absolutely insane, uh, built. This took significantly longer than the two hours that I had budgeted to actually put this together. I figured once I got the cables through the frame, I was like, I'll just bolt some stuff on. Didn't really work out that way. Um, brakes, brakes are bled, I didn't show that. I will say the integrated bar and stem does look a little bit funny, not slammed. But I'm not entirely sure what the fit of this thing is, is quite supposed to be yet. And I'm, I'm not going to commit to cutting this fork because there's a lot of mountain bikes kind of happening and, and being around in the shed area, in the shop. And I don't know where everything's gonna end up yet. I don't wanna make any commitments. I used to just cut stuff because I had no care in the world, but things are popping off in the spin dat world. And, and, and I don't know what's gonna be here, what's not gonna be here. Anyway, that's why it looks the way it does right now. That is why I'm fighting the temptation to put it all the way down. The plan 
to break this thing in, to give it a whirl, see what it's like, do the review that you're supposed to do when you're sent bikes, is to take this tomorrow out to Wentworth. You should be relatively familiar with Wentworth. Uh, try the flow trail, some of the trails that are there. I've mostly only ridden those trails on the felt and uh, one time on the breezer, which I really enjoyed, and another time on the rock hopper. And the rock hopper was absolutely perfectly adequate for being there. So I expect that this is going to be a bit of a rocket ship and should, should be an absolute riot up the climb. Yeah, that's it. Thank you